In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use YouTube Studio from start to finish. So let's begin. So this is the homepage of my channel. To access YouTube Studio, I click on the link that says YouTube Studio and I will be redirected to the dashboard page. So this is where you can get an overview of many things. On the left hand side is where you will see your latest uploaded video with a little overview of your video statistics. It will tell you how well your latest video is ranking compared to your other posted videos, also the amount of views that it has, your video duration, which is very important, and watch time and hours. Then here in the middle, you will have a section for the latest YouTube news. You've got your latest posts at the bottom here. And on the right hand side is where you will see a summary of your channel analytics. So in the last 28 days, my channel has gained over a thousand subscribers. Also, my channel views for the last 28 days are about 145,000. Then we have watch time in hours, which I find very useful that we can openly see this information here without having to go somewhere else. Then it also shows my estimated revenue for the last 28 days. Your top videos are displayed here in this order and you can find out more by clicking on the link. And at the very bottom, you can find more information about your most recent subscribers. On the left hand side is where the navigation bar is. So I'm going to move on to videos. So here is where you will find all your uploads. If you scroll down, you can choose to add more videos to one page if you click on the arrow pointing down and then click on 50, for example. And now I have 50 videos displayed on one page. Also, if I click on the arrow pointing left or right, I can access my other videos. And if I click on the arrow on the far left, I can access my first videos again. If you click on video, you can do group edits to your videos. So for example, Next to edit, if I click on the arrow pointing down, I can change my monetization settings for all of my videos and I can make other modifications to all the videos that are on this page. If you want to edit individual videos, click on the pencil icon next to a video. If you want to see your analytics, click on the analytics icon. If you want to read comments for that video, click on the comments icon. If you want to make modifications to your monetization settings, click on the monetization icon. And for more options, click on the three dots here. For example, you can get a shareable link for your video. You can delete the video forever. You can download it, you can promote it, or you can quickly edit the title and description of the video. If you want to see your video details, you can click on the pencil icon or on the video thumbnail. And this is where you can make modifications to the video title to your description. You can change your thumbnail here by clicking on the three dots, change or download the thumbnail. You can make modifications to your tags area. And on the right hand side, you can watch your video. This is an video about how to you can get a shareable link here. And if I scroll down, you can change the visibility settings by clicking on the arrow pointing down. You can unlist the video, you can make it private. You can change the playlist option for your video. You can add an end screen by clicking on the pencil icon and you can add a card as well by clicking on this icon. And once you have made any modifications, you need to click on save on the top right hand corner. So I'm going to go back by clicking on this arrow here on the left hand corner. Next on the navigation bar, we have playlists. If I click on that link, it will open the playlists page in a new window, which I find very practical. So here's where you can create new playlists and edit your existing playlists. A playlist is where your videos are organized like this. So it's a lot easier for new people and existing subscribers to find what they're looking for. And it also makes your channel a lot more organized and user friendly. If you want to create a new playlist, click on this link up here, name your playlist, Click on create. You can give it a description by clicking on the pencil icon, then save. And then you can add a video by clicking on the three dots and click add video. You can choose from your videos or you can paste the URL of a video here. And then once you've done that, click on add video. I'm going to cancel and I'm going to delete the playlist. 
All right, now I'm going to close this window and I'm back to my YouTube studio. Next on the navigation bar, we have analytics. There is so much here which asks for a separate video in itself. But basically, here's where all of your channel analytics can be found. And up here is where you can find out a lot more about your channel statistics and videos. So I recommend browsing around and getting familiar with your analytics. Next, we come to comments. I'm going to click on the link comments. This is where you can access all your video comments and reply to them as well by clicking here. You can also like the comment or you can give it a heart and you have more options by clicking on the three dots here. For example, you can remove the comment, you can report it, you can hide user from your channel. Next, we're going to move on to subtitles. I'm going to click on the link subtitles so we can add subtitles to our video by clicking on the arrow pointing down and then click on the link add. Next, I'm going to go to copyright. And this is where you can keep control of your content and copyright issues. Then there is monetization. So if I click on monetization, depending on your channel status, this page can look something like this. If you are monetized or if you're not monetized, then it will display your subscriber numbers and watch time and hours here. And you can also ask YouTube to notify you once you have fulfilled the YouTube criteria of 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time in the last 12 months. In my case, I have all of these monetization options like selling official merchandise below my videos. I have membership options and so much more. Finally, we move on to audio library. So if I click on that again, it opens this page in a separate window. And this is where you can access thousands of songs that are for free that you can use on your YouTube videos. You also have sound effects here that you can download as well. And you can use the search bar here to look for specific things that you want. You can also search by genres, by mood, instrumentals, duration, and so much more. And if you want to download the music, click on the arrow pointing down. If you want to listen to it, click on the play icon. Guys, I hope this video was useful. If it was, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.